up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low It's a Sunday morning, just got up, fucking rough. Yeah, we had a few beers last night. <sighs> we're, at, uh, we're at Chuck Fest. Um, Chuck Fest, Northwest. Cheshire Showground. We were here all day yesterday, we got here on Friday night. It's, uh, it's Sunday morning now. Um, it's just been busy, we just haven't had time to, uh, I haven't had time to actually record anything. Um, so you should have seen some footage already. We were leaving the yard uh, in Runcon. Your pack's been Runcon. So, uh, yeah, like I said, just got out of bed. It's raining. <laughs> yeah, beautiful day yesterday. The, uh, the weather was fantastic. For the time of year, it's fantastic. We didn't have a single spot of rain. It was brilliant. Um, so that was quite good. And uh, the company, uh, the company Transportation, has put a, a big uh, trade stand on. Uh, it's spent quite a lot of money um, showcasing some of the stuff to do. Uh, we have a store back trailer, where it's a wagon and drag, and a drawbar. I think there's photographs. Oh, look, it's in the name. Yeah, look. Wagon and drag, drawbar. The reason this is here, um, <laughs> it's causing quite a bit of a stir because we've spent quite some time uh, explaining that we're not anything to do with the Green Fleet anymore. Um, let's see if we we'll find it. Um, William Stobart, um, hence the WS bit, William Stobart is a uh, part owner of more engineering. <laughs> Look at the boys. I win. <laughs> um, yeah. William Stobart's part, uh, part owner of uh, More Engineering um, and they've, uh, they've done all the fabrication work on this, on this vehicle which is why it's here to showcase that bit. Um, he's also part owner of uh, Grey Law um, and they've, they've taken a, a six, week, six wheel chassis, a normal six, week Arctic, six wheel Arctic chassis, made it into that. That's pretty cool. But that's Grey Law. William's part owner of Grey Law as well, um, and this company, it's all walking floors, um, that's part of more engineering again. We've got to uh, have normal load, um, escort van, I couldn't even think what it was, I told you it's early, I hadn't had breakfast yet, I had a cup of tea, literally got out of bed. But yeah, we've got the uh, abnormal load escort vehicle here as well. Or one of them. Um, this is a standalone company to uh, WS. And uh, Nathan Assist, he's um, a guy called Ralph, who run that company. They do all the escort work for, or most of the escort working for uh, 
the WS when they're uh, moving, ahead, moving wide and long. So there's my old girl. Yep. We have another uh, side to Williams Empire, if you want to call it that. That's this. The buildings. Yeah, yeah, the temporary structures, temporary buildings. <laughs> Look what we've got inside. That's all about. That's six by five hundred. So, uh, Andy Terry's truck. If you know him on Facebook, that's Andy Trucker Terry. You can find him on Facebook. And when we get down here, we've got Carl Madison's truck. If you know Carl, big V8. We've got one of our how about it? And at the end, we've got one of the WS tankers. I believe it's a brand spanking new tank. Brand spanking new unit, I think. Oh, it's 69 plate, yeah, it is. 69 plate, it's not even got a fleet number on it. Brand new, never been on new, well, delivery mileage. So, overall, it's been pretty good. The show's fantastic, really. It's, uh, it's small compared with the likes of Peterborough. Um, but it's good. Had the uh, swamp thing and all that good stuff. You know, you see, you see the footage that I filmed yesterday from that. Very shortly. But, uh, yeah, well, let's go down and see you boys. I'm sure they'll be stuffing the faces on breakfast because they were all up before me. Let's see if everybody's up. Yeah, the only. Uh, the only other truck you haven't seen is Phil Burton's, Phil B's. It's, uh, Phil's on curtain siders. He's got uh, 6x3 air, what is it, 6x536. Oh, let's go see the boys and see how much to swear. <coughs> Fingers crossed it'll clear up, get right there. <coughs> accommodation. Well, not accommodation, hospitality. Morning boys. Say hi. No swearing. Say hi. Morning. Cal, with Phil. Mark Boyd. Andy Truck and Terry on his phone, too busy to talk to me. And Mr. Welch. And they did well, didn't they? And it's well, none of them. It's great. Saves me editing. Hey. Saves me having to edit your swearing out. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll crack on a bit further. There's one more bit to see from what we brought anyway. That building there is the uh, hospitality suite that's uh, still about to put on. So, uh, last bit Smith Brothers. Smith Brothers, uh, again, part owned by William. Um, and they do all the second hand gear. So, uh, good morning. I'm going to say hello. Um, I'm not the best this morning. I'll tell you what, too much beer last night. It's good. Um, yeah, Smith for the sand all the uh, decommissioned vehicles. So they've got a second of vehicle. Come and say hello. Right, I'll leave you for that. <coughs> There's not much else to tell you right now. I might do it later on. So uh, enjoy some foot. From last night. Um, the light show was pretty cool. Damn noisy. We've got all the, the, all the air ons going off. Um, ain't got to be much, got to be excessive. So. But I'll catch you a bit. Take care, guys. Bye.
been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time, ain't doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money Super tough. <laughs> it's not, today's weather's not got any better. It's still uh, grey, overcast, and not very pleasant. Uh, it's been a good crack, it's been a good day. Um, yesterday was fantastic as the weather you saw, you'll see on the footage of the year. The weather was far better yesterday. Um, apologies for, uh, I completely forgot to record yesterday morning. So I did the, uh, the opening this morning, uh, which you'll have already seen at the beginning of the, uh, the vlog. So, um, yeah, so it's spoiled it today a bit. It's uh, put a bit of a down on the end of the vlog. So, uh, we just watched uh, Mac Tool Truck trying to get pulled out because he's uh, sunk in the, in the ground. It's a bit soft. So, we've got our wagons fired up. Just getting some battery power in. We've had the, uh, the roof lights going for a while. The swamp thing's uh, the monster truck in there. Just gonna see if he can get out by himself or whether he's gonna get to pull out with the tractors as well. There to go with the Mac tools and we're uh, gonna put one, one of the John Deere tractors on. And he span up. So put the second tracks on and pull straight out. Bit of an anti-climax of the weekend. But uh, uh, he's, uh, he's moving now look. You can see that. He's uh, He's struggling. I think he's going to get hooked up and pulled. This be expected. The ground's absolutely saturated. There was a lot of rain last week. We got one of our vehicles stuck coming in on a Friday night, um, and he had to be pulled into position one of the high ups there, or the, the higher truck. Um, I don't think Swamp Thing's going to be uh, getting out of under his own power. I think he's going to get pulled. So I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll catch you on the next vlog which I'm going to be picking up very shortly in the next week or so and uh, going back to the regular weekly vlogs Sports management on Friday Clear up a few issues on uh, what they were seeing in the vlogs what they didn't like and uh, we'll get some guidelines on what they don't want to see and we can go again so I'm going to go to the court because it's raining so as I always say thanks for riding along with me and I will catch you on the next one cheers guys <laughs>